welcome to eLearning Today TV. Today is Friday, September 24th, 2010, and we are coming to you live from the Learning Today office in sunny South Florida. I'm Lauren Grossberg. And I'm Lena Gonzalez. And be sure to, oops, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're here to bring you the latest in educational technology and e-learning, but also be sure to follow us on Twitter. I'm an LG educator. And I'm Learning Chick. And also be sure to check out our website for more teacher and educator resources. Okay, our school feature of the week this week is this thing called Not In Our School, and it's kind of like a campaign, and it actually started from this other one called Not In Our Town, and it was basically started to uh, raise awareness of either bullying or like hate crimes that were going on in communities, so they kind of turned it into a school-wide version of it. Um, there's actually a whole website dedicated to this, and it has examples of how schools um, have kind of used it in their own school mm -hmm. like some schools have used a whole month and they've dedicated it to productions and presentations and speakers all about bullying and hate crimes and stuff like that um, and other schools have put on whole productions using situations that kids might find themselves in and the whole website has lots of resources for the teachers and classrooms there's videos, there's all different kinds of media, and there's discussion questions, and it's really getting popular, and yeah. especially with all this social media, now there's a Facebook page, there's a blog, there's a whole bunch of stuff, so um, teachers that want to do a whole lesson in that, there's plenty of resources there to check out. Yeah, it sounds really great. It's a great initiative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Watch and Learn, our video is it's actually from one website that has a lot of videos in it. It's called Safe Kids USA. And basically it's a combination of all these different organizations that have come together and they're trying to prevent childhood accidents. So anything That's from great. falls to fires to different kinds of accidents. And they have tons of videos on there and they're kind of like cartoons so kids will really enjoy them. And there's also lessons and games and worksheets and all different kinds of material there um, and what's also great is that some of the videos are actually um, catered towards special needs students so there's different videos for them and lots of more information there and the whole site is dedicated to just you know preventing childhood accidents wow. okay. great resource mm -hmm. Okay, and <laughs> so today um, I brought an article from um, the LA Times, um, which I think is very interesting. Um, it, there's a bill that was passed in the Senate um, of California to provide um, free water for students at schools. Apparently, um, it was not provided for free before. Uh, any that's crazy. any kid uh. that um, wanted to drink water had to pay for it. And so, um, one senator introduced the bill and it, it was passed. Now it's basically just waiting for the, the signature of the um, governor at this time. Um, but basically, he was his motivation was that um, he realized that there was no free water available for his students at, at, at the schools. And nowadays, when kids are so, they have so much pressure from commercials and media, etc., to drink um, sort of junk mm -hmm. beverages and water was not being provided, so obviously they're gonna pick something that is not healthy for them. Um, so starting next July, um, after the, the um, governor signs, signs a bill, uh, all the schools are required to provide the free water, including water fountains. Unfortunately, the bill doesn't provide funding for the schools, so I think there's gonna be a little bit of a hiccup there mm. for some of the schools. They might argue that they can't afford it, et cetera, so we'll see. So we'll, we'll sort of follow this story, I think, until next year and see what happens. Yeah, that's also going with the whole healthy yeah. school exactly. menus and lunch. So um, I know that there was a pilot program that was done and um, some parents provided um, fundraisers and they raised money and stuff like that to sort of um, help the schools. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully that's something that will happen too by next July. So mm -hmm. really excited though. Yeah. And, and it was hard to believe that there was no free water provided in California for, for this school. That's so crazy. I wonder yeah. how much it was. <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> probably wow. ten dollars for the water, <laughs> and uh, sodas were probably a dollar fifty. Yeah. Which, who knows? So yeah. <laughs> so I can understand why um, um, this senator was really passionate about that. Okay. And our e freebies this week, I found three interactive kind of fun sites for kids. Um, the first one is called Into the Book, and basically, they have 
about eight different approaches to reading. So it's full of um, videos and activities. There's read-alongs, there's quizzes. It's really interactive. It's kind of like a little pop-up book, sort of. And it's great for kids who are practicing reading or who just need some extra um, educational, uh, like, I guess if you have free time in the computer lab, it's a great site to visit. Um, top Marks is from BBC, and this one has tons of games. They have both reading and math, and everything is separated by content and grade and what kind of game it is, so the type of game. And they're really colorful, fun themes like baseball and stuff that kids like. Um, and there's a whole section, actually, it's really cool, the whole section dedicated to whiteboards. So oh, all those cool. are specifically made so that they could be used in the classroom on the whiteboards. I love whiteboards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is called Math Play. And this is all free math games on this site. And they're elementary and middle school levels and they're also organized very um, specifically grade content what kind of game you want um, and again just more fun activities themes that kids like and there's a ton on that one so if you're looking for math games it's a good one to check out and they're all linked in our blog so you can click on those if you need them so <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> well, I know that female tarantulas can survive without food for two years. Really? Now, I think this is really <laughs> interesting because I do a lot of fasting and by the third or fourth day I'm ready to quit. <laughs> and I know that you had to fast last week and you were ready to quit yes. at some point. Yes. So it was like very interesting so that they can survive for two years without food. I wonder how long the male ones can then. <laughs> I don't probably know. I have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure that it's <laughs> probably nothing close like that. So. What do you know? Um, I know that there's a restaurant in Memphis that serves burgers that use 98 year old um, cooking grease. Oh, no. And I actually did see this on TV, and the owner was talking about how it was like the original grease from when they first opened it and they first started cooking burgers. Oh, my God. And it's because it keeps the original taste, like it's the, oh. <laughs> you know, that original flavor there, so. Would you eat there? Probably. I'd probably do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can only think of, like, <laughs> so many bad things to say. Yeah, probably. Anyways, if you like our show, please be sure to give us five stars on iTunes, and we'll see you next time.